Welcome to GatehouseSupplies.com. Today we're taking a look at the LiftMaster 375 UT Universal Remote Control. This unit replaces the old 375 LM. It can be used to replace several different makes and models of the remotes. So you just have to carry one remote. Let's take a look at it. It's got two buttons on it, so it can control two different devices. It's got a little access panel in the front. If you slide open the access panel, you can see inside that it has a program learn button, and then it has a set of 12 dip switches. The numbers are very hard to read. They go from 1 to 12 from the bottom heading up toward the buttons. You have to hold it in just the right light to illuminate them so you can see it. So let's say we want to use this remote control to replace the linear. You're going to look inside, you're going to find the code switches inside the linear remote. You're going to then take the new remote control and set the code switches to the exact same sequence. There's only eight switches in the linear, so the extra switches on the LiftMaster remote you're going to turn off. So your turn off switch is 9 through 12 in the remote control. Then look in the instructions in step number 4 to find the linear 8 position dip switch remote. It's at the bottom of the list here and you'll see that we have to push our button 18 times to program it. So inside the remote control go ahead and press and hold the program learn button until the blue LED lights up steady and then push the button you're going to want to use 18 times. Make sure after each push, you wait for the blue light to go steady again before pushing it the next time. Once you've done it and it's 18 times, press and hold the program button inside. The light goes off and you can try it and it should work. Then you can move on to the next button. Same process for programming the next button. Change the dip switches and go into the program mode. It's a lot easier sometimes if you're out standing in front of the gate or the device that you want to use because what will happen is when you're pushing the button, uh, especially a lot of times like 18, when you finally get to that 18th push, uh, the gate or the garage door is going to go ahead and react and it's going to start to move. Once it does that, then you know you're on the right setting and you can take the remote control and press the program learn button to lock it in and then test it out and make sure that it works. This unit also works with a wide variety of garage door openers. You just need to locate the learn button on the back of the garage door opener. And then you just need to find the color of it and then look it up on the chart to decide how many times to push. On this 3800 operator, you can see that the learn button is purple. So simply press the learn button. And look at your instructions. It'll tell you for a purple learn button, you're gonna push the remote control three times. So take the remote control, slide open the access panel, locate the program button inside, depress the program button and hold it until the blue LED on the remote control comes on and lights up solid. Then decide which button you want to use to open your garage door and you're going to push it that number of times. Make sure after each press you wait for the light to go steady again before pushing it another time. After the correct number of pushes, the garage door will open, locate the button inside, press it one more time, the light will go out, and that's it, it's programmed. Of course the remote control comes with a battery, but in the event that you need to change it, if you look at the sides of the remote controls, you'll see a slit. On the right side, it's a little bit wider. If you take one of your wife's good butter knives or a screwdriver and you put it in the slot and you give a little twist, it'll pop the case right open. Once you get it open, just pull it apart and it will reveal the battery inside. You're going to want to get something non-metallic, uh, plastic or wood, and you're going to want to just push the battery out of that little compartment. You might want to work it from both sides, just giving uh, little gentle pushes on each side. You'll see the battery starts to slide out, give it a last little push, pop it out of there, and that's it. The battery is available on our website. It's number 10A20 is the part number. Once you get it, just push it back inside the slot and push it in. Make sure it's seated fully, and then line the case up and snap it back together. And that's all there is to changing the battery.
That's about it. Thanks a lot for checking out the LiftMaster 375 UT Universal Transmitter. It works for many different makes and models of garage door and gate remote controls. If you take a look at the instructions that you can download from our website, you'll see it works for all the LiftMaster Chamberlain and Sears units made from 1993 to present. It works on the Genie and Telecode systems, Lanier dip switch and Lanier Mega Code, and uh, Stanley and Multicode products. It's all in the instructions. Just take a look at that before you buy it and make sure it's compatible. And go to our website, gatehousesupplies.com, and just type in 375 UT in the search box in the upper right corner, and we'll be happy to get one right out to you. Thanks a lot for visiting gatehousesupplies.com.